In terms of meeting Vince McMahon, I only met him twice, honestly. The funny story that I have, though, and I've only heard this, I've heard this from three different people. I choose to believe it. It may or may not be true, but I've heard it <laughs> secondhand, okay? So okay. people often ask me, how'd you get your name? Like, how'd you go from Ardo Cal to Kyle Edwards, right? So I get there. I knew my name was going to change. I didn't care. I was like, whatever. I know this is part of the gig. I'm cool with it. So my boss, uh, Tom Carlucci, who's a fantastic human being, he was there for a very, very long time, about 20 years plus. His whole family at, at some point worked there as well. He tells me, look, your name's going to change. Let's put together a list. So with the international department, who have a lot of talented people, we put together this list. And obviously, some people were like taking it more seriously than others. Like I was like, OK, you know what? I think there's like a two first name convention that happens here in WWE, like Tom Phillips, Justin Roberts, Josh Matthews, Michael Cole, Jim Ross, like whether it's their real name or not, like that seems to be like the convention that happens among many on air talent. So I was like, OK, well, I'll do that. So I'll put like Ryan Randall on the list or I'll put uh, I thought Turk would be a cool last name, kind of like an homage to my heritage. Right. Yeah, and I thought my parents would love it, too. So I was like, OK, uh, Dan Turk or John Turk or something. I don't know. I just Turk last name. I just put a bunch of Turk last names. And some people in the international department were like Ray Donovan's on the list and like Armin Van Buren's on the list. So they're like picking real people's names and they're not taking it seriously at all. And I'm like, Armin Van Buren, there's no way that I'm like, what do you think? Come on. So anyway, so we all we've all heard the stories that Vince McMahon is very hands on, like he everything goes through Vince McMahon. And that's honestly one of the reasons why WWE has been successful, because there's only one cook in the kitchen. Right. Like Vince McMahon is the be all and end all. Apparently, this includes what a lowly international announcer's name's going to be. So they're in this meeting where I can only assume that they're talking about like high level stuff, like what direction should we take the company? And here's some marketing pitches that we've received. And here's some investments that we should do. And what is the creative for WrestleMania? Whatever. And then the topic comes to, all right, we hired this guy. His name is Artis from Canada. Uh, we need to change his name. Here's the list. And so like, I don't know, it just makes me laugh. And again, I've heard this from three different people. Uh, he's, he takes the list. And he looks at it and everyone has a Vince McMahon impression, right? So he's like, oh, I don't like any of these names. You know what we need in this company? God damn it. We need a Kyle. <laughs> so as soon as you hear that from Vince McMahon, like when Vince McMahon says something, it is gospel in WWE, right? So like, okay, my name is Kyle. Like that is a hundred percent set in stone, apparently. So that's essentially how the name Kyle Edwards was came to be was because Vince McMahon was adamant that Kyle, we need a Kyle in this company. And well, so, I, I, so I became strange. a Kyle. That's <laughs> so strange if that's the name that just came. I don't, I don't know where he came from. I don't know if he was watching the show and there was a Kyle on it. I have no idea where the inspiration for Kyle came from, but oh, that's, that's how I became Kyle. That's a, that's an awesome story. <laughs> that makes me laugh. You know, if, if they could have asked them that on the next day and your name could have been Frank. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, we don't have any Franks. <laughs> name him Frank. No, no, no Kyle. <laughs> so you got, you, you got to 